Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hemicraft Season 6 with me, A Fold Symmetry, and today we have a lot of cool stuff to get updated with, because I've been away for a little while. I was at, of course, Minecon. We were on the panel. Uh, I was on the panel with four other hermits, Iskel, Stress, Good Times of Scar, and Mumbo, of course, and I had an awful lot of fun. I even decided to stay out there in America for a little bit longer. So apologies for the lack of videos. I sort of stretched the videos that I did record before I went away out so that they would cover the time I was away. And now I am back on the server ready to get playing. Now I have heard that there is something very, very exciting and potentially very rewarding to get involved with, but I'm actually not sure where it is. I did assume it could be over here in the shopping district, but I think actually in hindsight it probably is over in the newer area of Hermitville, or whatever it's called, I'm not even sure. <laughs> but uh, I think we should probably head over there, check it out, and uh, get involved. And get involved we shall. <laughs> Oh dear, I've just, <laughs> I've just realised something has gone on here. Some sort of prank has gone down, yes, jingles. <laughs> Newly found diorite. Very funny, very, very funny. So I think, I want to say this stands for, it's just meant to say NFD, which I think stands for nuggets for diamonds or something like that. And I'm assuming, oh, deposit nuggets. I'm assuming the rules are in here. Yes, so let's take a quick read. Welcome to Nuggets for Diamonds. Hidden in the shopping district and hermit land, there are hundreds of gold nuggets. They are lying on the floor. If you see one, pick it up. Bring your collection over to this machine. When you deposit your nugget in the window to the left, it will be processed. If it's a good nugget, you will either get a diamond or a diamond block. If it's a bad nugget, you will just get disappointment. The rules are on the next page. Okay, so no showing off hitboxes. Good point, yeah, because I think they use armor stands, seeing as though they're going to be on the floor. Uh, only throw one nugget into the system at a time, fair enough, and no re renaming of your own nuggets. Uh, tips, um, right-click the nugget with an empty hand to pick it up. Okay, so yes, I think they're going to be using um, armor stands to be holding these nuggets. So I think what I'm going to do is, whilst I am over here, and I did take quite the journey over here, I'm going to be running around like a mad woman. Um, just trying to see if there are any nuggets around the place, because it must be, they must be like hidden in places like this, right? Little, little, little areas like this, perhaps. No, nothing here. Okay, well, I, I guess I got more searching to do then. So, first nugget has been found unintentionally. I just ran back because it got night time, basically. I had to go make myself a, you know, a nice cup of tea for the uh, the treasure hunt. And uh, I went to bed here, because I know there's a bed. I came back and, of course... There's literally a nugget right here. Okay, which I can right click. Okay, cool, and it's called treasure token. Sweet, okay, well, first nugget down, I guess. I was about to go up here, actually, because I assumed that up here could be a potential place for one to be hidden, but uh, I guess not. So I guess let me continue uh, going for maybe like 20, 30 minutes. There's one here. And um, <laughs> it doesn't mean, I don't even need that amount of time to find one. It is difficult to click on them though. Um, and are they gonna? They are going to stack, okay, good. I think that's a good thing that they're going to stack, right? I'm assuming that if there's a bad token, right, it's named something different. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's a randomizer, who knows. Anyway, let me get on with this and I'll come back when I've found even more. Look at this, I'm like a genius or something, I'm finding all of them. Oh, and I've one here as well. Okay, yeah, I'm going to spend like 20 minutes. I'm going to maybe even time myself, give myself 20 minutes. Well, I've actually only been going about 10 minutes and... I've already got 31 <laughs> treasure tokens, which of course means I might have grabbed quite a lot of the ones in the area. I was planning on going back to the shopping district and grabbing some from there, but I think what I'm going to do is just today grab them from here. Oh my goodness, there's loads here. Once you see one, you see all of them. I don't know who put these down. I think it's Mumbo and Green. Although I could be wrong, it could be a skull or someone, I don't know. Um, but um, you can sort of tell that they've put them in a bit of a line, like they've wandered around somewhere. Oh, this one's going to be difficult. How do I <laughs> how do I grab you off of there without opening the... Um... Oh, see, I 
Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> Got it. I deserve that one. That was hard work, that one. Um, but yeah, you can really sort of tell that they've just sort of wandered around an area and then placed them all in the same area. But that, all the right people have taken them from different areas and obviously left the others, so it seems like they're in, like, piles. But anyway, I, I found quite a few, so I guess I'm gonna take a quick nap because it's a little bit dark. Oh, wait, let's check if we have any sales. <gasps> 24 diamonds as well as all these tokens? Guys, I am having a good day. See, taking a break sometimes from Minecraft, you come back and you're winning diamonds like left and right. This is a great thing. I should take I should take trips more often, I think. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of thing I want to come back to, except for you. Not so much you, Mr. Creeper. I, I see you coming for me. Le leave me and my little tokens alone, okay? They're mine. Even if I can't pick them up. <laughs> Right, Mr. Creeper has vanished. I flew a little bit farther away so that he would hopefully despawn and it seems like he has. He was around here, but I think now... Let's quickly check this bit though. What does this say? Diamonds out. Oh! So I see, you put the, the, the token in here and if any diamonds come out, they come out from there. I am potentially a little bit worried about the lights. I'm assuming they could light up when, you know, you chuck one in here. Maybe. Oh, it shows. Dun -dun -dun. That was a bad noise, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know this too well from that game. <laughs> the bad noises. Right, let's see if we can get lucky on these first three. Um, I don't know how it, if it's the same thing. No, that's, a <laughs> that's another no. Okay, come on. We've got to win at least some with the, these like 30 something diamonds. If I don't, I'm super unlucky again, aren't I? Oh, okay. Come on, come on. We must we must get something, right? We must get something. I just heard a positive noise. I just chucked it in there and I was doing something else on my computer. <gasps> guys, 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 guys. I got a diamond block. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, for like, maybe like 12, 15 minutes for searching for nuggets, I'll take a diamond block. Now I don't even care what the rest get. I'm just gonna chuck them in one or after another. Only when I hear the uh, the good sound will I go over there because it's pointless otherwise. Right, last nugget has gone and with those 30 or so nuggets, we got a block and two diamonds. So 11 diamonds total for maybe like, let's say 30 minutes um, of time spent. That's not bad to get. 11 diamonds, I don't think, uh, unless you're obviously tight for time, but I don't know, I had some time this morning and thought I wanted to try that out, so I'm glad I did, I'm sure there'll be nuggets all the way around this place that I have missed, but I'm gonna leave them for the other hermits to grab and another day we will try and do this perhaps in the shopping district, or perhaps, actually saying that, I've just thought, did they say shopping district as in like here? Or shopping district as in like in the main area. Let me just check the book real quick. In the shopping district and hermit land. Okay, I think that does mean the other area, but that's a long, long way away. And also you're gonna have to bring your nuggets back here. So that isn't a feasible, you know, thing to be doing, you know, in one go. Um, but I will do, definitely do that when I'm back over there and when I'm working over there, probably in a stream or something like that. So whilst I am over here before I fly back to my main base, which is what we're going to work on a little bit today, uh, I thought I would come and update myself on over here because I've heard that there are new things going on. Oh my goodness, wait, what? <laughs> Scar! <laughs> is this now a spaceship diner? What's going on here? That's a, that's a full-blown spaceship. That's not a UFO. <laughs> it does look great though. It is sort of burning the roof of my uh, diner though. Is my diner okay? Is it? Is it? Is it a bit toasty in here? We might need to, you know, maybe get some diamonds from Scar to cover the air conditioning costs. Because, oh, that's gotta be. It's gotta be toasty in here from that. Blimey, that's all I'm gonna say. But, uh, but yeah, that is great. Thank you, Scott, for I guess replacing the UFO with something probably much better but we're gonna ignore that anyway uh i haven't actually been back here in like a couple weeks so i have no idea if anything has changed uh but i guess if there is anything that has changed it is very very likely gonna be down this end so let's take a quick one there 
check things out and uh, see if anything extra has been going on down here. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything new within the museum, but if I come down this secret entrance here, Cleo has been super busy. Now, this video came out whilst I was away and all I saw was the thumbnail and I was like, I need to go see that in person. Look at this. I mean, like what even happened here? What happened to you? Have you got like a big emo fringe? There's an emo gas. There is a zombie in the wall though. Uh, or actually that could be Carol. I don't know actually. There's a ghost. We've got a phantom like grabbing this person. This person's heads on backwards or something. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with this guy. Uh, we've got, <laughs> we've got the baby stresses, <laughs> which I, I love. I think those look fantastic. Zenaf's face plant in the floor having a little nap. This guy is incredible. Look at this monster. He's great. I love him. We've got, I guess, Slender Man here, right? Just worked out what that one is. And I think a lot of these are references. Some maybe I'm not getting. Uh, but this this one's like obviously a massive slime sucking in this guy, I'm assuming. But I'm not exactly 100% sure exactly what they're all referencing. This guy is obviously like a fish. Oh, I'm, it's like a mermaid, like fish guy attacking Corallus. But I don't really know. And also this in here. Oh, I guess there's a big red button, right? I, I get it. I get it. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd show you guys what is going on down here because... Uh, not enough people are seeing this stuff. Like, this stuff is incredible. Cleo is extremely talented. So, uh, yeah, um, Cleo's been a very, very busy bee, it seems. So let's head back to my base and try and get on with a little bit of work. So in my video before I went away, we did this over here. If you didn't see the video, then um, it is on my channel. You can go and find it. But I basically uh, made myself a new tower. I wanted to bring my face outwards and make it a little bit more 3D. Plus, <laughs> how did I not notice that was sat right there? <laughs> Wait, what? Why? I, I'm really confused. Is that like the only one here? I, sorry, I literally didn't notice that at all. It was probably staring me right in the face. And that has completely distracted me from exactly what I was saying. Dang it, who put that there? This is not the shopping district. What, what, are, you, what are you on about? <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll leave it there for now. But what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by a gold nugget. Yeah, I'm talking, to, I'm talking about you there, Mr. Nugget. Um, is that I didn't finish this off. Um, and yeah, that's what I want to do right now. I want to make something to sort of bring the structure of this out quite a bit. Now, uh, let me decide actually. I need to figure out if I want one or two pillars. I think the one pillar doesn't look bad. I think once it's got more structure. I do want it to feel like super open, but I do want the arches from either side basically. And I guess the arches sort of coming up here as well as there. Sort of like these, like a bigger version of these sections here, which these I'm not a massive fan of anymore. I do like this one at the end though. So I definitely want something like that either side, if that makes sense. We could even, if we wanted to, add another one of those off that way. That could actually be an option. I didn't even think about that the first time. It would have to be, I guess, a little bit longer perhaps, because this here isn't quite long enough because obviously the waterfall needs to come off into the water. Because the idea is that when you're on a boat, you fly off the other end. <laughs> it's like it's like an escape route uh, via via boat. So I guess that is my plan right now. So I'm going to grab myself a whole bunch of um, stone brick and hope that I've got enough to uh, do all of this. It's going to be a tight one. I'm kind of running out of stone actually. That's not a good thing. So the first lot of scaffolding is up and I hate this stuff, <laughs> I'll be honest. I love it, but I hate it. It's not really great for things like this where you're going to have to um, basically go down a level like now and again. I, I, guess, I guess it might not be that bad. But I do hate it like, like this, you know, when you get these little bits just everywhere. For some reason it, it bugs me. Uh, maybe that's just me being a little bit on the OCD side. I'm just like, why are these here? Stop being here. It's, it's distracting. But um, I need to not be distracted. I need to, in fact, uh, get on with this. So I think, looking over there, for the most part, that water glitch is still an issue. But we could, I guess, I, I know, I think at the time I decided trapdoors could be a, an option. 
to sort of cover that, but I didn't like them, I don't think. So it might not be an option, but I think let's make this archway first in the center here and then see if maybe we want to put two more of those either side and we'll go from there I think that might be the best way to do this so seeing as though I'm having a little bit of trouble here building this I've done like the very very basic bit here and I think I've decided that we need at least these to be like half pillars maybe they don't go all the way down to the water or the I guess oceans uh, bottom but um, I, uh, you know, I think it might be nice if they sort of float there and uh, create a little bit of sort of extra structure, even if it's not actually like holding anything. Anyway, coming back to the uh, the shopping district here for the second time this episode, uh, I'm actually coming back here to um, grab some scaffolding because I am running low and I don't really have enough string to sort of you know, make a whole bunch myself. So I've come back to Impulse's thing and I thought while I'm down here, why not check if there are any nuggets? Not to pick up right now, but you know, just need to sort of scout the area out, right? It doesn't seem that there are any sort of in here. How many, how many of these do I need? I can buy that, but I can also buy six stacks for two diamonds. I've actually got two diamonds on me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, well there you go. Thank you, Impulse, and um, other than that scary guy up there, I don't think there's actually anything uh, strange going on. Although while I'm down here, I might want to just check. Just to be sure, <gasps> someone's actually bought <laughs> My discs have literally been so selling in the last month and that's it. Like, I don't know what happened, but like something changed. Oh, also this is still a mess because of the entity th issue. But um, yeah, I feel like I've only sold music discs recently. Uh, I can check if there are any, uh, any leather and stuff in here. No, I probably need to restock that, actually. Uh, because I mentioned that on the panel, actually, the Minecon panel, that I sell the, uh, sold them leather. That's where it is! It's the gigantic cow face. You can't really miss it. Although, maybe you can. It's quite a confusing place down here. But it's down the orange, okay? The orange is where all my shops are. So, go there and buy stuff, Hermits, okay? <laughs> You'll have to let people know. If they ever want leather, that's where to go. And I, and I will restock it. I promise. <laughs>down all of the scaffolding right now just so we get a clear view of it I'll leave the dirt here for now just in case I ever need to go back up there again I'll have to collect all of this uh, quite expensive you know I've had to I've had to I've had to dish out diamonds for this scaffolding today rather than make my own because I don't have enough string on me so uh, hopefully I don't lose too much fit I mean you get it's one of those things it's like dirt when you use dirt for scaffolding you know for certain you're gonna lose some. It's just that's just how it is, right? It's just how it is. Everyone understands that. So it's pretty much the same with scaffolding, although scaffolding uh, can be a bit more of a pain to like make, because well, dirt you don't really have to make anything. You just you just have it. <laughs> or at least I, I seem to have a lot of it. Uh, anyway, so let's I guess quickly just swim along, grab all this, but then also just take off if we can and have a look. I haven't finished off the uh, the stumps, <laughs> these bits. I don't know if I want them to go all the way down or not. Let's look at it from like a bit of an angle. See, I do like that. That middle one looks really good. But I do feel like these need to go all the way down. <laughs> I do feel like they need to go all the way down. Yeah, I think I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to. So I guess let me try that out. Check that it works. It should do. And then um, we'll see if there's any finishing touches we need to make. And here we are. I think that looks pretty spectacular if you ask me. I like the fact that you can basically fly through it and I think altogether it definitely gives the right kind of vibe. I do like the idea of having the fountain coming off this end of the uh, tower but I think for now we'll just keep it like that. And for those that missed the previous episode, what this actually is, is if you get a boat, you can come in here and... Oh, I haven't actually added the uh, the soul sand. That would actually be pretty helpful, I think, actually. <laughs> Let's see if I have any over here. 
Nope, I need to go grab some. Be right back. So this is how it's supposed to work. You grab a boat and you come into my base via the water elevator. Um, which, oh, sometimes, sometimes it breaks. It's really weird, but the boat, yeah. Okay, I was hoping that an update didn't break things then. <laughs> I was worried. But yeah, basically you can get up there or you can get up via this one here as well. That, of course, has the elevator too. But as I said... What do you think? Do we make another one of these at the very, very end that I'm going to go over on that tower? Let me know. I mean, it is pretty fun to just do this. So, um, I don't know, it's tempting, but will it be too much? That is the question. I guess we'll add a poll and it's a yes or a no. Yes, we want one of those, or no, we should not have one of those. It really could work, actually. It could look quite nice. <laughs> I'm very tempted. But uh, I think for now we'll leave that. And also I do want ideas from you guys in the comments of what sort of terrain I put on this island. My terrain over on this main island has been chopping and changing and I've been sort of working a little bit very, very slowly on making the forest area which needs to be a heck of a lot more sort of busy and we need a lot more sort of work done on this. I need to do a lot of it off camera so I do need to find some time to do that. I've been adding these but these won't work over there but I don't know do I make I don't think I want to make a big tree like this but I do potentially maybe want to make some sort of I don't know mushroom like this one or I don't know do you guys have any smaller tree designs that would work well with these that wouldn't look too bad over on that island because if you do send me them on twitter at full symmetry because I would like to see what potential trees I could, you know, do. Even if you have a screenshot of some other tree that you've seen somewhere. I don't know, like, what could work with these? I've tried coming up with trees just before, but I always just dislike them after a while, so... It's a difficult one. Anyway, that is going to be sadly it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for leaving a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.